Hello, hello to my lovely spirited living community. I'm back here again, Deborah Roth, uh, with another installment in a different way. And actually, I think I did that the last one I did with Sedna. <laughs> a little bit different than a regular goddess um, that we're looking at this week. And it, she is a historical figure, which I've actually done a couple times with some impressive women in history. Um, the one that comes to mind most quickly is um, Julian of Norwich, because I talk about her a lot, and I do her uh, body prayer meditation um, every morning. That's another story. I'll, I'll put a link to, to her again in, in the YouTube description. Um, now, today, I, we are honoring in our pursuit of bringing back all the, the strength and the wisdom of the Divine Feminine and all of her qualities. Uh, compassion and uh, intuition and honoring our emotions, honoring our intuition, honoring nature and our connection to nature. And I have to say, there's a little bit, I feel a little conflicted a little bit about this particular one. It is, and I'm going to have to look to, to make sure I get the pronunciation right, and I'll probably still mess it up. The Hawaiian queen, Kahahumanu. And I chose her because tomorrow, June 11th is the celebration of, of a very famous king of which she was his favorite wife. He had 29 wives. Um, the king, so tomorrow, uh, June 11th, is Kamehameha, uh, Kamehameha, Kamehameha, Kamehameha Day. Um, Kamehameha, Kamehameha Day. So, Something like that, and I apologize to those of you um, who speak the, the native traditional languages. Um, and his, so this is his wife, Queen um, Kahamu, Kaham, Kahuman, oh, I was doing this so well earlier. Kaahumanu, Kaahumanu. Um, she was, she has an interesting history. She was born to royal parents and, and they, um, they got very friendly with, with um, Kamehameha, uh, Kamehameha, yeah, okay, uh, who was king at the time, and arranged for her to marry him when she was a child, and he was like 30. But by the time she was old enough to marry him, to, you know, to really do anything, um, she had grown into this very um, self-possessed woman to the extent that she, um, she really made some changes in traditional uh, Hawaiian society. She was considered um, the kuhina nui, the regent or co-regent to her husband, but also of her stepsons um, who came uh, after um, the Kamehameha uh, two and three um, after their father died. And with all of them, she really, um, she, one of the things that she did um, is that she, uh, let's see, she, let's see, she was appointed the, the, um, the guardian of his son and, and successor. And then she was um, allowed, they, to, she, she placed restrictions, and this was by the time her, her stepsons came along, on chiefs who demanded large amounts of fish from poor subjects as taxation. Probably the, the biggest thing that she did as relates to, to women is that she played a major role in abolishing um, the ancient religious uh, Aikapu laws that prohibited men and women from eating together and barred women from eating certain foods. So she campaigned and was able, she, she, she actually did it in, in conspiring with one of, of, one of the other um, wives of, um, of the king. And they persuaded him that, and they began to eat at the same table as, as this young king. Um, and it was called, it was a kapu, was the name of, of what these uh, traditions were. Um, she also was recognized uh, for really promoting literacy, both in commoners and in the chiefs, and encouraged both of them um, to, to learn to read. Now that's, I have to admit, that's kind of where my, my conflict comes in a little bit, because she, um, when, when the Christian missionaries came to 
the islands, she completely embraced Christianity, which is fine that she has that religious choice. But what she did, which, which made me very sad, while it may have been her incentive for promoting literacy, she, um, she ordered that all of the old religious buildings and artifacts, including some of the most sacred places, be abandoned and destroyed. And, and it was only through the action of, of actually um, another, uh, another chief, chiefess <laughs> um, that, that saved them from being destroyed. She also created a new legal system, uh, which is pretty impressive, again, for a woman to do this, based on the Ten Commandments, based on the Christian Ten Commandments. And, and she did encourage literacy, probably first and foremost, to, to encourage the population, again, chiefs and, um, and commoners, to read so that they could read the Bible. And they, they, she helped establish schools so that they could do that as well. So it comes, it sounds like it came a little bit at the expense of some of the, the older traditional um, uh, religious practices in, um, in, the, the, uh, in the islands. And she is, I started to give you a little bit of history and then got um, sidetracked. She was born in Maui sometime around 1768, so a while ago. And she was, um, he married approximately 20 other women. I've seen 29 in other places. Um, and, oh, and she also supported him in his campaign to unite the islands. And, and that's why, one of the reasons that he honored her, because he could see her, her potential as his pua, puaonia, <laughs> meaning that the, she was the physical place. And, and she's actually honored. There are a couple of physical locations, actually, that she is said to inhabit. And according to history, they had a, a tumultuous relationship uh, at times. And there's a stone in... Uh, Puhon, Puhonoa, um, Ohanoa National Park that looks like it's, uh, it's part of one of those tales of their conflict that she ran away, she fled um, her husband after, um, after they had a big fight and his, his agents ran after her and they set fire to the village to, to smoke her out and she hid behind a stone and it's this stone that's been given this um, special designation in um, in this national park. So as you can see, I'm a little I'm, I'm I'd like to think she did more good than harm. Uh, she didn't actually end up destroying the um, uh, these religious these traditional religious sites, um, but she did so many other things that I I just and because it's so timely because the the celebration. Um, the Kamehameha, there it goes, Kamehameha Day, uh, which is tomorrow, gives us a really beautiful opportunity to bring in the divinely feminine energy of his favorite uh, wife, of Kaham, Kah, Kahamanu. <laughs> there we go, Kahamanu. Um, so, questions to think about, and, and I always like to bring this in. How do we as modern day women, oh, I do have some pictures of her somewhere. I don't know what I did with them, oh no. Um, we do, she's a good one to ask ourselves, how do you use your power wherever you are in society to help those that, that don't have that amount of power? And how do you draw on your wisdom? And how do you draw on, on your brilliant brain? She was pretty smart um, and she was acknowledged that way. Here's, a, here's one of the images I found of her. Um, looks very regal. I'm not sure of all the symbolism in this one. She's wearing a flower crown. Um, this, is a, this is a more um, traditional, a tiny little picture that I found of her. Um, and she's carrying this, um, uh, I don't know what it is. It's, <laughs> it's, it's like a, a flower, um, uh, my brain is not working well today. We're not even in Mercury retrograde. At any rate, do look her up. You can find um, images of her. I always post more information on, um, on YouTube when it goes up on, on my YouTube channel on, on Thursdays. Um, and I'll give you some links. You'll see how to spell her name. Um, not necessarily how to pronounce it. And I did find this very beautiful, there are a couple um, videos that I found of, of these horse priestesses 
that dance in very beautiful ways at this big celebration that's on, on June 11th. Um, and also found um, this lovely um, chant song. And I'll include the, the link to that on the YouTube description too. And see if I can, I won't get the tune exactly right. I probably won't get the words exactly right. listen to the video it's a very um, it's 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 a, a group of women who honor that is her that's their their role is they honor her and they and they do hulas they do the the native beautiful native spiritual dance and sing this as they're as they're honoring her so I invite you to check out all of this on, on my YouTube channel as well and like it there pass it around let me know. I'd love to hear from, from anyone of, of Hawaiian, traditional Hawaiian descent, um, more about the festivities that happen on this, on this big celebration on June 11th. Thanks so much and look forward to connecting soon. Bye for now.